Hi, I'm Gia Nicolaides. Here's your morning brief on the coronavirus. It's day 40 of the national lockdown and day five under level four of the regulations. We have another 437 infections, bringing the total number of COVID-19 cases to 7,220. The death toll now stands at 138. Health Minister William Kieser says, with winter setting in, the country will soon be confronted with the additional burden of flu and other respiratory illnesses. So he is appealing to the public to stay healthy, to ease the load on the health care system. Almost 260,000 tests have been conducted so far, and that number is steadily increasing. Some positive news, a group of Cape Town healthcare workers are part of a trial that's investigating if a TB vaccine can also protect us against the coronavirus. Now, yesterday, approximately 1.5 million people returned to work under the East Level 4 regulations. But there's been a stern warning from the Labour Department that employers who fail to follow strict health and safety guidelines face being shut down and being criminally charged. There have been nearly 5,000 applications for relief funding from the arts and culture sector and 300 from sports. Minister Natim Tetwa says he will meet with the SAFA president, Danny Ordan, and PSL chairman Ivan Koza about when local football could resume. No decision has been taken on when live sports will resume due to the contact nature of the sector. The Fair Trade Independent Tobacco Association is hauling government to court on an urgent basis to have the ban on the sale of cigarettes lifted. And there may be more legal challenges. But yesterday, President Cyril Ramaphosa backed Cooperative Governance Minister Nkosa Sana Dlamini Zuma. Ramaphosa initially announced that the ban would be lifted. Then Dlamini Zuma said cigarette sales would remain prohibited under Level 4. The President insists that this was a collective decision. Taking a wider look at the pandemic, the world has reached a grim milestone, with the coronavirus death toll now having passed the 250,000 mark. There are more than 3.6 million cases of the virus globally. For this and more on the pandemic, go to ewn.co.za forward slash coronavirus.